Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Game, and we're returning to a Let's Play of Command Modern Air Naval Operations, where we are defending against Russia as the NATO line. So, last times around, we have tried to reduce the defenses at Königsberg or Kaliningrad over here. These guys are very much in our way. This is a Russian enclave, very much down in NATO territory. And these guys have so much stuff over here. Uh, in principle, the most important things for us that are currently blocking us really uh, are the SAM batteries, so the surface-to-air missiles over here, these guys, and these guys over here. So they're about five or so, six, let's say six, um, air batteries that are really, really blocking our progress. So we can't really send our forces into the Baltic countries where we are being attacked very heavily. You can see all of these air fly uh, aircrafts flying around over there. So they are continuous blocking force to us and that is a bit of an issue. So the thing is, what do we want to do? Last time we've we've sent two, two uh, air groups against this group with anti-radiation missiles. So uh, things that are in principle built to defeat surface to air missiles uh, and their air defenses over here. Both times we've hailed pretty horribly. So um, I think in the first strike we even lost a couple of aircraft. We didn't really do anything worthwhile. In the second strike with these tornadoes, you can still uh, see them flying back. And I think we can uh, ask them to juice fly it back on their own. I think they should be on high altitude. Yes, they are. So that didn't work either. I, I think we defeated two raid installations, one down here and one up there, which is a beginning. But, you know, at this rate, uh, we would never be able to break them. Just look at all the amount of stuff they have there. A lot of that is naval installations, but even just the normal raid installations, we can't break that. So we have three opportunities or three alternatives. We can ignore all of this. We can just fly by it as we're doing down here with a couple of um, F-16s. I think you guys by the way, can loiter. I want you to be around these bridges, which we need to defend. Uh, all these F-22s, which I guess can come in a little bit more like this. By the way, you should be on cruise speed. Yes, you are. So we can pass by them and just ignore the whole lot of it. Secondarily, we could try to exhaust their air defenses, but I've had a look at it in between episodes, and I think they must be having about 240 missiles or so in stock. So if we have a look over here, these S, uh, the SA-21, the Growler variant, you can see all every single truck has four missiles and that is reflected down here. So four missiles per truck. They have 12 trucks per unit. So that's already 48 missiles and they have another 32 in reserve. So that's 80 missiles just on this guy, another 80 on this guy. These here are slightly different, the SA-23, but they're not so different after all, they do have four vehicles carrying four missiles, another four carrying another four, and so on and so forth. So that adds up to about 80 missiles in total. Uh, sorry, 40 missiles for, for this, 40 for that, 40 for that, 40 for that, and so on. So it's a very, very large number of missiles. I don't think we can win by attrition. I think we have to break them by sending missiles. And that is what we're going to do and prepare at least this episode. So let me uh, talk a little bit about that. So firstly, these guys up here, I think are extraordinarily vulnerable because while there are 17 vehicles in there in total, 3, 12, 1, 1, only one of these is really good for guiding in missiles. And that I think is this one, which is a fire control radar. So this guy is good for searching. But this one here can actually guide in these missiles. So if we destroy this one, the Gravestone radar installation, which is on one of these vehicles, we can disable the entire battery. If we do this here and here, that's only two radar installations. And if we can kill those, we'd be good. On the other hand, over here, it's a little bit uh, worse. Actually, these guys have about, I think, seven or so radar installations. Yeah, that's four of, these, uh, of, of this truck, uh, another two on this truck. And they have the grill pan total one. So yeah, we need to we need to destroy a number of raid installations, but I think we can do that. And the way to do that is obviously by overwhelming them. So by sending in more air, by sending in more missiles than they can defeat at any given moment. And I've had a quite extensive look at what we have uh, down here. So firstly, we've got on, on Schleswig Air Base, we've got the Harm missiles, and these are very good missiles. Uh, so they will be definitely a main staple for us. We have the four, to, uh, four tornadoes coming back from over here. I think we've got another tornado that we send up over here. This is just a recon guide. 
Um, and you know what? We're going to send you back to base. So you're going to be back to Slesvig Holstein Air Base, and over there you will be um, you'll be refitted with the Harm missile. It's going to take about six hours or so, but then we are ready, and we have at the very least five missiles ready. They're also these two, and in principle I would like to use them, but they also have a very good loadout with the Taurus KP KEPD, uh, which has a very extensive range, so this is a good standoff weapon. And it's also terrain following, so it goes very low, and that means the Russians are very unlikely to intercept that. And you know what, that means we're going to launch these guys as a group. We're going to get a quick strike in here, we're going to try to nibble away at their uh, easternmost defenses, so we're going to fly our tornadoes down here maybe, and then launch at these guys and hope that all of the anti-air missiles which, which are concentrated on the western part uh, will not be able to engage these things in time uh, as they are coming in towards these radar installations and that might at least help us out a little bit. But the biggest, biggest, by far biggest um, repository of our missiles, uh, of our good missiles and strike packages is over here in Spangendal Air Base. And this one Currently, they, these guys are carrying a lot of JSMs. These are also somewhat l a little bit like the other ones. They are terrain following. They have a good range, but they're very slow. So it's fairly likely that they will be disengaged in a mass engagement. But these guys also have the harm missile over here. And that, I think, is very promising. Because what I do want to do then is take up as many of these guys as possible and convert them towards um, the harm missile. I'm not going to touch these guys over here, these more Jays, these are the um, decoys that have been very useful um, actually, I hope. So these guys have offensive OECM, they would like to reduce their capabilities to hit us a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these guys here and we're going to rearm these guys with the harm missile variant. Uh, I think we have two different sets where we could use them. This one carries only a single harm, but on the other hand, it does carry a couple of normal bombs. And these are really, really normal bombs, so you know what, I think this one is fine. And then do th and I think we want to exclude the optional weapons over here, uh, the these AMRAMs, because uh, while they are useful against aircraft, I don't think we need them at this very moment, um, and it would actually reduce our drag a little bit if we exclude them. So that is what we're going to do, it's going to take a while over here to get these guys ready. But I think we're going to be fine. We could likewise get these guys here to be on the... You have a 400 mile strike radius. How far is it actually to over here? Oh, a little bit further actually. So you know what? I think um, we should since we're getting all of these guys ready in six hours anyway. We can also uh, ready these guys here uh, without the optional weapons as well. Oh. I didn't know that worked. Okay, fine. So we excluding the optional weapons here uh, still doesn't change the time required. These guys up here will be fine. Uh, they'll be prepared anyway. We've got a couple of further F-16s coming back to Spangdendal. These guys over here, I think, are coming back. Status so heading to refuel point. No, no, no. Um, you know what? I think you can be unassigned and you can just go home back to base. Yeah, you have about a hundred mile... A hundred mile buffer there that so that should be just enough and I think these guys here also should be going to Spangendal but you do need definitely a little bit more fuel so you're gonna come down here by the way I did want to do a little bit of housekeeping so we're gonna connect these guys up. so we are gonna have over here all of these aircrafts will be with a harm layout including those uh, that are just coming back so hopefully hopefully that is gonna be um, something to overwhelm our, uh, their air defenses over here in Lakenheath, we also have a couple of very interesting designs. So uh, you can see there are a lot of F-15s over here. F-15s do have a much higher range than the F-16, including the C variant. These guys, on the other hand, are really just fighters, so they don't really, they're not capable of carrying anything that is uh, good against ground units. So the C variant we're going to ignore, but all of the other ones, you can see they are already um, using a different loadout over here. And while we do not have harm missiles over here in our inventory, uh, I did by the way scroll down through all of this and have read all of that, and the unit or, or that the bomb the bomb that we want to use is the GBU-39. And the reason for that is that this guy here um, is actually guided and it does have a range of 60 nautical miles. 
And that I think is just enough for us to stay uh, out of the primary engagement range of the enemy there. Uh, it's only a glide bomb, so it can be defeated. But I think we're going to be fine because these guys do carry eight of these bombs each. So that is... That's a pretty hefty salvo if that is coming towards you. There are a couple of uh, issues with this. It only can structure land. Uh, it only can target land structures in one race, so no mobile units. But you know what? I think we're going to be fine. So the GBU thirty nine is a very good weapon. We could also think about the JSAM, which is over here. Um, this is likewise a glide bomb, so two hundred fifteen miles uh, radius. Very good one, level cruise fire terrain uh, following, that's extremely good for us. Uh, the only issue is that they would only be able to carry one. And one of these to me honestly is really not quite enough uh, for, for them to be used, so uh, I don't think that's uh, what we do want to use after all. Right, all of the other ones are honestly not quite as useful. The only exception I maybe want to make is these guys here with the dual purpose bombs. Um, they're very sophisticated weapons um, and they would be able to do a lot of damage over a large circle. They don't really have the range. We would need to get very up and, and personal uh, with these missiles. But you know what? If we are able to overwhelm their air defenses, maybe we will be. So, you know what? With these guys, I'm fine. Uh, with the 39s here I'm fine. All of the other ones to me honestly seem to be a little bit um, redundant so let's get all of these guys. Also these anti-air weapons up there. Maybe we're gonna keep two of, of two normal free fall bombs and you know what two clusters should be fine. So we are gonna keep two cluster bombs, two normal bombs and convert all of these guys here towards the long range variant of the GPU 39 if I find it. There we go. We could either go for the long range one, uh, which does have a wider, wider range, but it does only carry four bombs each. Um, I think we're going to go for these, so that should be fine. Uh, we can, and I think we will exclude the optional weapons, and that should be fine. It's also going to take six hours for these guys to be prepared, but at that point we will be having quite a strong force, I believe, so uh, that's going to be fine. And you know what? You guys here are also going to... Uh, convert to the variant with only the optional weapons. Yeah, there we go. And if possible, we would like to do that here as well. You have the CBU 103. You, these are optional, exclude optional weapons, that's fine. And likewise over here with the GBU 38V. 38V, come on, where is it? 38V, there we go. Okay, fine, perfect. That's pretty good, I like that. And then we have all of these guys over here, uh, pretty much similar aircraft, so similar story over here. I think what we're simply gonna do is, do we really need these JSMs? You know what, I'm gonna keep two JSMs um, and all of the other ones we will remove. GBU 39s, a lot of those, that's perfectly all right. Maybe we're gonna keep two bombers and you guys are all going to be ready and armed with the GPU. This one without the optional weapons. Nice, I like it. And you all... Oh, I think I misread that, didn't I? No, that's fine. Okay, two bombs, all of the other ones. Did I pick the 38 by accident? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, my mistake. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's pick all of you guys. Reverse my order and go for the... Sometimes, honestly, it can be a little bit uh, deceptive with all of these acronyms. Where's the 30, 39 then? I oh, don't we have enough of those? Ooh, that might be an issue. If we don't have enough... Oh, yeah, we don't. Oh, uh, that's that's unfortunate. Okay, we don't have enough um, of the 39 one. So we can either carry these these sort of dumb weapons or actually carry the JSMs. In which case it was, uh, well, maybe the JSMs. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate because I now increased their arming time over here by, by quite a significant margin. But you know what? That's fine. Um, we should be all right over here. Um, yeah, and, and that's okay. Good. Uh, other than that, uh, I think I had over here, these guys are also a long-range standoff weapon. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite have the other range, and unfortunately, it's not rain-following. This is simply a glide bomb, um, which needs to be released from a high altitude, and that means it's going to be incredibly easy for um, enemies to target us here. Uh, but still, I do think I want to do, do more of these weapons here. Um, in, in this case, we are close enough to the enemy, I think, that we can include the optional weapons, but that should be alright. Good. So, that being said, I think that is um, enough for, for the planning. So, we are planning to overwhelm them with enormous amounts of uh, forces. We have sent this guy back, so that's fine. Um, in between episodes, I also did a little bit of householding house with some of these guys just merging up and stuff. Um, you here, we want to have these Eurofighters, which are coming in from Germany, but we want to select a new home base for you, Marburg, um, and just keep you around over there. That should be okay. I don't suppose we do need um, a lot of air defenses. You know what? I want to bring you over here. Um, and since I want to keep you in the air for a very long time, let's loiter you, and that should be okay. And uh, likewise, these eagles here are coming in for air defense. Where are you actually from? Are you from Spangenham? Can I see that in any way? I don't think I can. That's that's actually funny. I don't know where you're from. Uh, likewise, over here, we've got this flight of two F-16s. And we're going to select a new home base on Bornholm. And you know what? I would like you to uh, return to that base. Good. Uh, let's resume our game over here. We've got a couple of things happening still around Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. Uh, we've got our decoys here in the air just providing electronic countermeasures. We've got one, two, three Tomahawks coming in. I think they'll be all shut down. I don't know exactly. Uh, we've got this Tomahawk, which is certainly... It has the target of this raid installation, but it's just passing over some Russian fleet, so they will definitely shoot that down. But yeah, other than that, a lot of aircrafts up here in the Baltic uh, Sea, we don't, uh, or over the Baltic countries, we don't know exactly what they're doing. Just send this guy back as well. This guy here will come a little bit up the Finnish coast, hopefully trying to identify these guys. But we will have to see. Right. So some tornadoes have reached bingo fuel, that's okay. Um, hopefully you're gonna be making your 260 miles back to base even though you only have 200 uh, mile radius that is principally because the fuel consumption on these guys is much higher when they are lower up in the air you can see they are currently, oop, they are currently at 5,000 feet or 6,000 feet or so so they are burning right now at cruise speed 50 kilos uh, whereas in a high altitude they would be burning about half of that so I hope that these guys will be making it uh, home right that um, missile over there has definitely been shot down now. Two more aircraft over here in the air. Well, that should be all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very... I, th I think it's very unlikely that our Tomahawks there are going to hit anything. It's just their air defenses have been way too, too uh, hard for us to crack. Going to accelerate time here a little bit. Um, you've, in fact, slowed down, so that's nice to see. These um, guys over here have made good some of their discrepancy in, in range. How about you guys down here? You will hopefully be making it. Yeah, you've got about a 100 uh, mile gap over there. You are certainly going to make it. Bingo fuel in 4 minutes, really. But you're returning to base anyway. You are coming in towards the tankers, I think, I hope. Yeah, that should be okay. You know what? Maybe, just maybe this mountain is going to make it. We don't know whether they might. They might already have launched something from, let's say, over here, and we don't just don't see it yet. It would be nice to destroy one of their targets up here. Maybe even two. Although, of course, we did allocate <laughs> to, to this one. Had we allocated here, maybe the blast would have been able to take out uh, some of the other areas. But it just doesn't seem like that. But it does seem a little bit promising here. So that's... Not looking too, too badly. Yeah, we are seeing hearing some missile now. There's there's one coming in, so it's doing some coming down here, there. Let's go to... Ah, oh, come on. 
But it has missiles, so that's very good to see. Maybe there's another one here, but there we go. So we have one of their raid installations, so that is very good news indeed. Uh, this one will never ever be able to make it over here, and uh, that's just not possible. In the meantime, our two tornadoes have taken off from over here. So let's bring them down here. I think that should be okay. Um, that's about 450 miles or so. That's okay. You guys do look promising, so that's all right. You're coming down there. That's okay too to refuel. We've got our aerial refuelers. Um, aerial tankers are down here, so that should be okay. And pretty dandy, actually. Right. I'm very happy about this uh, hit over here. Not really sure. I don't think we have uh, done any blast damage to any of the other guys. They seem to be a little bit too far away from, for that. But we might as well check, maybe. No, we do see the emissions coming from this guy. Uh, it should be under contact report. Yes. Just zero seconds ago, uh, we have seen that this guy is still emitting, so that means there's definitely nothing over there. Right. More missiles being spotted somewhere. I didn't see exactly where though. It's not over here, as far as I can tell. Must be somewhere over here. New boogies. Okay, that's uh, hostile planes from over here. I'm gonna mark them as hostile because we know they are. And there's the missile that we've just heard, uh, which is definitely coming in for the Tomahawk here. And it's definitely gonna destroy that. This is too far away, this is too good. Or is it? it? Seems to be aimed a little bit behind us, actually. Weird. There's nothing else over here. Well, just maybe though. Wait a minute. Let's stop time for a minute here. So these guys can engage anything up till over here. And these guys have an extremely high range. They might even be targeting our Avex platforms. So they pretty much have a range up until Bornholm. So I think what we want to do here is um, put our pattern for our our intelligence aircraft a little bit uh, behind that. That means we'll have less information, but I think we are going to be better for that. Right, so yeah. If it's going for, for these guys, it might be... We might have to accelerate time there a little bit. I don't know what this is exactly. It might just it might just have missiles, but I'm not too sure about that actually. It's really weird. Okay, you're accelerating a little bit, that's okay. Yeah, you seem to be going force there. Yeah, this this one is close to yeah, you been destroyed. As we kind of expected. More missiles up over there. They could be targeting this tomahawk. Okay, that missile has down. Ooh, we've got a message over here. The North, uh, the North Atlantic Council is currently meeting to assess the situation and to provide a response to the aggression of the Russian Federation on the member states of the Baltic countries. All 28 members of the Alliance express solidarity, yada yada yada, condemn barbaric acts. NATO is responding with a strong but measured force uh, with, to what appears to be aggression limited to this small area. Okay, we are trying to bring them together uh, but it doesn't seem like we have gotten anything uh, for that. It's just been uh, words. So no concrete help now. Nothing from Sweden yet, um, which of course is not part of NATO yet. But um, yeah, not any, really not that much. Okay, you've got enough range to cover your advance. You guys are just tankers. You are trying to get to these tankers down there, I believe. Everyone else is fine. Okay, we can probably get you over here. Right, and oh, we're not even playing. Right, let's see. Oh, Brits are finally joining in the fight. Uh, they've committed the remainder of number six, squadron RAF at Con is Conings B. Uh, the rest of the cr squadron was up at Amari on policing duty. Uh, the Poles have cleared space for them at Shivakshi Air Base and are trucking in some weapons from the central depot at Gdansk. Okay, so we've got these guys over here. Let's have a look at them. Um, eight Typhoons, so eight Eurofighters. Um, let's launch the first four of them immediately. 
And we're gonna bring them up towards Chi 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 Yeah, Chi Chi. Okay, so we're gonna bring them over here. And that should be okay. Good. And Amari, I think that's over here. Yeah. That's we've only three typhoons left over here. They're gonna be ready in about two hours. Some of our Portuguese friends are down here in Lithuania. But there's not much we can do over there. Right, let's see. All of our jamming drones are still in the area. It looks a little bit like this automated um, submarine is trying to engage these guys, but we don't know that yet. This is Task Group Ocean, our only aircraft carrier, so to say, in the vicinity. We've got this guy down here, which is trying to intercept there. It looks a little bit like these guys are trying to hunt our helicopter. That'd be nice. That'd be interesting to see because we have previously seen AA-10 missiles hitting us on the ground. One of our Eurofighters here was destroyed on the ground on the airfield um, by these by these guys. So I'm, I'm really curious to see whether they're going to do something like that. Another missile launch. I think it's down here, probably at this Tomahawk. Yeah, you can see these aircrafts are doing that. Um, there's not much to be done about that, really. We've got these F-15s, four of them in the vicinity. Soon we might be able to do some launches. Uh, but for now, not really. You guys do have two hours until bingo fuel. Let's keep you above Lithuania. I don't think I want to expand you towards uh, Latvia yet. There are too many fighters here. Well, at the very least, they're wasting some ammunition there. Yeah, but so many missiles. It's just not viable that this guy will survive. Yeah, there we go. Right, new contacts. Wait a minute, what was that? Why do we see another missile being launched? Where? Over here? No. Interesting. There are two more fighters, or two more aircrafts. Let's mark them down as also we know they are. This guy is dead. Aircraft has been taken off. Uh, okay, that's over here. You guys um, do come over here. And I would like you to declare your new home base. Um, assigned to base. Like new home base. This one. Right. There we go. You can also bring it to Amari as well. Your bingo fuel is 700 miles. Well, we might we might think about that actually. Lots of stuff being um, spotted over here. New mobile installations or something. Didn't quite see that. Hornets. What are these hornets? Do they even have hornets? Okay, mark these guys as hostile or potentially hostile. What's going on over here? We've got a couple of SU-27s coming in very very close to our airbase. If they are actually bombing us, that would of course be somewhat detrimental to us. We do have some air defenses over here with Mistral missiles, but that wouldn't really be enough. Are they coming in low? No, they're extraordinarily high. Interesting, don't know what they're doing there. All of these aircrafts are coming, I think, towards our uh, Raptors over here. Let's see whether we can do anything about that. You definitely need to refuel. You have about 530 and you want to go to Spangenau. Hmm. You might actually not need to refuel technically. But I think it's a better idea. 450 miles. You know what? Um, I think what I would actually like to do is take you guys here out of the unit. Because I think um, something might be... A little bit weird, so that's D for detaching. Okay, let's go back to unit view, group view. So you guys have... Yeah, see? You don't, guys don't have enough range. Okay, let's stop over here. Okay, we've got these tankers. 
you're going to come over here and you are going to be unassigned from your mission and you guys need to refuel from over here next compat ooh can you not refuel from over there come on what's your what's your general capabilities boom refueling and you're telling me you guys don't have a boom no you only got a wing group you have a center line boom all right all right then that's what we need to do yeah okay you're doing this now how about you no i think you also need to refuel it's better to do this uh, rather than not do it right but you should be all right shouldn't you yeah so yeah it was only the the one of the aircrafts in that group that was having enough fuel okay the other two are going over here and that should be okay good right down here nothing is going really badly so that's okay that's a lot of aircrafts coming in this way what are you doing I think you were investigating the helicopter contact which is now gone or you might be coming in for our training uh, aircraft over here but again uh, we do have some anti-air defenses over here but you might be coming in too high for that aren't you you only can engage until 16,000 feet and these guys are way higher than that is there anything we can launch from over here just training aircraft yeah okay can I can I go a little bit over Finland maybe hopefully to get away from you don't attack me over Finland it's neutral for now all right a couple of SC-27s really just SC-24s interesting is that another strike incoming I wonder and these are all fighters but the SU-24s might be bombers. Hmm. You're coming in, you're very high, that's okay. How about you guys? Well, if we want to kill their fighters, probably our fighters are the best idea. The, the um, F-22 is one of the best things that we've got in this fight. Okay, more detection happening. I think that's up here. Look at these guys. They're coming straight for us. Let's run away. Yeah, more mobile installations up there. We've kind of lost the contact with this submarine for the last hour or so. So we're about two hours into the game. You are accompanying this guy. Maybe we can shoot at you. Okay, two SU-27s. I think we might be able to take you on. Okay, let's continue to go this way. And let's ask you to be loitering speed. And let's engage you. Everyone fire a single missile. So that we have two per target and everyone is losing a little bit of their weight and extending their range just a little bit and you know what I think we have to turn on our sensors and all of the other stuff that we've got the reason why I want to go slow is because I want to keep on facing their way but then once these guys are coming around we'll need to turn around there we go missiles being fired streaming away very very fastly as they would which is good How are things looking down here? Still okay. These guys are a little bit our backup. They are doing wild maneuvers already. Not sure what these guys up there are doing. Some of them are seemingly returning. That's okay. I think they are weaving. Are they dropping in altitude or something? No, they are increasing in speed though. So that means they are definitely trying to get um, 
faster than that. It's good that these guys are running away. So that we have some levy of, of attacking these guys if uh, our missiles here miss. We have 20 more, so somewhat reasonable to, to engage them more closely. Come on. Yeah, four of them have locked onto the first one. Two of them have already missed. One of them hasn't, so that's nice. Um, can you... Ooh. Interesting. So there's a problem with the difference in altitude because these guys have dropped down so sharply. So let's drive up. And re-engage just by diving down a little. I think this guy's also climbing. And once these missiles have hit, we are very good. If they if they don't, uh, we need to think about what we need, want to do. Either keep on engaging him. We need to keep an eye on these guys though. Yeah, he's turning away now. That's good. Keep on going this way. Jamming. Come on, hit. Hit. One of them has already missed. Nice. Okay. You go this way. And we want to try to engage these guys over here, these FU 35s. The F 22 is a very, very capable fighter, so it's extremely nice that these guys here were. Okay, this guy has run out of fuel. That's okay. Anything up over here? We might want to engage these guys, but hmm, I'm not sure whether that is really worthwhile. You are loitering down here. Ooh, and we finally know what this is. This is an SU-24MR. What's what? What are you? You're a recon craft. Interesting. Radio warning receiver. I don't really have that. Okay, we are engaging there. That's nice to see. Okay, and these guys up there. Okay, stop, 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 stop. You. Why are you going so fast? Loiter. Problem is, these guys here are coming in as well. Don't want to fight four aircraft at the same time. I'd much prefer uh, to keep our chances a little bit level. And um, you're also very much too high, I think, since these guys will probably drop down. Um, I want to make sure that we don't lose them just due to the difference in altitude. And we should be alright now. Come on. Come on. Come on. They're jammed. Probably they will lock onto a single one, but it's nice that they are sort of going this way. Uh, because then they can come around and hopefully hit at least one. At the very least one. D. That's okay. And can you also engage this guy here uh, with at least a single missile? Just so they, that he is running away. There we go. Well. I think we are automatically engaging with two missiles each. Okay, so I want to keep on a target lock on these guys. And if that fails, we are going to turn around. Wait a minute, there's a missile that I did not see coming. Where was that? It wasn't up here. Look at these missiles coming. Where, where are they coming from? I don't see them. It's not over here. Who's engaging? Not over here. It's not you. It's not you. Are you shooting more missiles? I don't think so. You have eight AIMs left. Come on, hit them. Hit them. Nothing, really? Absolutely nothing? There we go. There's one hit and they are shooting, launching a missile at us. Don't know what exactly that is. Uh, we're gonna have to check what they can carry and I think it's very likely one of these two. I hope it's this one. It's a semi-active missile and the reason I hope that is because... Let's go for two second pulses over here. Uh, the reason I hope that is because that means they do need 
a target on, on us. Uh, they can't just turn away. Okay, this is definitely being launched at us. And it's very likely that this uh, planker has been lost up there. Another missile from over here. Let's go to military speed. So we have some room to maneuver. Okay, we can turn away. They can't. And they have missiles coming towards them. So, And I think we want to try to run away straight to the south. This guy might launch at us very soon. And I hope that this guy turns around and that would mean that his missiles should hopefully uh, run out of guidance because we are not being illuminated. Unless of course it's the AA-10 infrared variant in which case they will definitely try to hunt us down. Okay, it seems a little bit like they were... Okay, our, t our missiles are going past them and they are re acquiring their target lock I think right At the very least these two missiles I think are missing this one might be a slightly different story but let's see about that okay where are our tornadoes these guys are fine over here you are also tornado you are tornadoes you are you will be making it back home you have very little fuel left, but only a few miles towards the tanker. You're fine. You are... Okay, ah, well, you can actually go to back, go back to Tankers Poland. Be assigned to that. Everything else up over here is okay, so let's zoom back in over here. And see what's going to happen. Okay, so we've got two of these SU-35s. Uh, following us now. I don't see their their target lock, so I suppose Okay, the first missile has run out of out of speed over there. This one hasn't yet It's a little bit faster than we are, but there we go. It has run uh, out of Out of speed, so that's okay. And um, I think we can speed here. We have six missiles for two aircrafts that might be enough Who's launching missiles? It's definitely not over here. Oh, it's over here. Just look at that. Oh, it looks like the the uh, Finnish guys. Oh no, the Finnish Hornets here are engaging these SU-35s because our training squadron um, is over here in Finland. Well, that's extremely interesting. Let's see whether they will be able to uh, take them out. That would be a very lovely outcome. Good. You guys are coming in a little bit fast. And um, that's going to be okay. No missile from... No, there is a missile. I think. Is there? Or are we just very uncertain about the position of this guy? Well, we don't know. Might be up over here as well, yeah. So we've got a dogfight over Finland. Finland has been neutral in this war so far, but apparently that didn't hold. Okay, let's get these eagles down over here to the south. We've got an hour or so till bingo fuel. Let's keep you on loiter. I think that's all right. So what are we to do with you? Do we want to turn around and engage them? Don't think so. Not yet. We can also try to pull these guys in. It's two F-16s. Yeah, I think that's what we probably want to do. Bring these guys in and then turn these guys around, launch and try to sort of run away. Okay, let's get to speed. Sam detected. Ooh, Sam? Sam is not good. Who would be launching surface to air missiles at us? Over here. That might be at the fins. That might be at these guys over there. Hopefully they are going to shoot them down. 
Yeah, that seems to be at the either at the fins or at our training squadron. These guys do have an amazing range. Okay. They're coming in faster. More missile launchers probably at these guys. Yep, yeah, that's what this is. Interesting that these SU-27s are quite hard as well. Right. There are a lot of fighters coming our way. What have we got in the air by now? So we've got this flight of Eurofighters. We can now actually try to get them over here. It's going to be there for two hours. And we've got this flight of F-15s. Right. You guys are over here. Um, you guys here have landed in Bornholm. And we can actually see what you can arm as. So we've got the four AIMs. Two AIMs. No drop pot. Lightning pot. What, what are you? You are sensor pot. No, no, no. We do want to keep that. Or only sidewinders. What about the heavy loadout over here? Only heavy, heavy by carrying the sidewinders. And you know what? That's fine. We do want to keep you. Ooh, time to ready. Only 15 minutes. Well, that's lovely. Um, do we have any more he over here in Denmark? Yeah, we do. Okay, you know what? Let's get you over. Good, that's fantastic. Right, and up over here, I realize uh, I'm going way over my time limits, but you know what? I think that's okay. So, you guys are going a little bit slower again. Actually, terrain following, interestingly enough. Not sure why I do. Be, why you'd be doing that. Let's go to five seconds over here. Probably going to be interrupted by a couple of these launches in Finland. Look at that. We don't know exactly how where that guy is because he's flying so low that our radar installations don't really can't really spot him all that well. Yeah, a couple of stuff happening in Finland. I think we uh, saw one of their aircrafts coming down that way. There is the surface to air missile. I think it's going for the for the Finnish aircraft, not for mine. Let's see. I would like to get a view on, on these ships that are coming in there. Right, and over here. Ah, you you know what? I think these SU twenty sevens over here are trying to cut our our raptors. Okay, you guys need to go back to cruise speed, please. And then soon you're going to launch at this guy, you're going to turn around and launch at this guy. We have six missiles or so. Let's keep two of them. Okay, and you, I would allocate, like to allocate uh, two plus actually one. I think it's it's fine to do. Three missiles each. In boogie? Where? Over here? No. Somewhere over here? Yeah. Really not sure what you are. You are definitely coming in for, for the fins. Can't do much about that, but... Why don't you reach your planned... You are trying to intercept. Do have a little bit of uh, room left here, so let's g at least go to military speed. And I would like to allocate a couple of weapons to you. You have two left, you have four left. Let's do two and one. And over here, let's allocate a couple of further weapons. Just so that we are keeping some in case uh, we need them. So I don't want to spend. I don't want these guys here to to engage this one. I merely want them to engage, to be able to get to engage that one. Right, you are coming up over there now. That's all right. A 
Okay, can you go to afterburner? You need to be a little bit faster over here. Right, as you are coming up this way, you're leaving these guys behind. You can go back to cruise speed, please. If they are intercepting, they should be turning a little bit towards the north here. Yeah, they are. You are coming up nicely, that's okay. Just make sure to turn on your radars. So that you can actually engage. Everyone over here is coming sort of this direction, that's okay. How are our aircraft doing? You are fine. You have only a couple of meters left towards your base. You are fine as well. You guys down here are refueling. Are you? <laughs> You're very, very low on fuel. Your tanker group is over there though, so I think you should be able to make that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Just a few more miles and you'll be able to engage this guy. Well, there is an alternative. There is an alternative in that I could engage these guys here. Okay, you know what? You are going to turn around. Um, you are going to deallocate all of your weapons. And what you're going to do is you're gonna allocate two weapons to this guy and you are gonna allocate two weapons to this guy so that should be alright. Then what you're gonna do is can I remove everything? At least towards the SU-35s. So only the... No, damn it. Did this wrong. Did this wrong entirely. Okay, that's fine. Right, so this way you are now going to engage this guy here with two missiles from you and one from you. And let's make sure to allocate one missile to this guy and then you guys here are going to turn around right so we should see this guy engaging them very soon and these guys here are going to engage uh, these two SC-37s and then these guys can withdraw provided that we shoot them down come on you should look and another I allocated three there, I know. There we go. How about you? Soon. Very soon. You might be uh, engaged by the anti-air units there soon as well. Hit. So we've lost a Hornet over here. That is the Finstead. But, well, that's the way it is. Okay, you're engaging over there, that's cool. You also have a couple of sidewinders, so if everything else fails. Okay, more units being de departing from over here. Let's get them over to Bornholm. And let's make sure that we defined their new base. That's Bornholm. Okay, four missiles allocated to these guys. All of our missiles over there allocated. Got two more MRAMs. You should be trying to get as slow as possible because I don't want to expose you towards their counter attack. These guys have launched a missile already. We haven't seen it, but we do see their their fire control radar being turned on. So that does mean uh, that they are coming in force. There we go. These are the missiles that I've just talked about. There'll be more. I think they'll probably be launching four or so as well. It's a very standard type attack pattern to use two missiles per aircraft. So. Would be surprising to see them only launch one. But they might. 
think we will be trying to get in here and launch our Sightwinders as well. And for that we might actually want to go to let's say slightly low altitude. Yeah, there, there are th two more missiles at the very least. Uh, the good thing is if they are using fire controls, that means that probably our, 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 our missiles here are going to arrive there sooner. They need to turn away and, and do some problem uh, and do some problematic stuff. Okay, you guys need to continue coming up north so that we can continue to guide in our weapon systems there. Okay, we've seen a missile being launched by these guys. Let's hope we are going to shoot that down before that. That would be rather good. Yeah, so our missiles are flying past each other sort of halfway. They, This guy here is starting to turn away. That's good. That means his missiles will be much less accurate. And if that second guy would do that as well, that'd be great. So hopefully these guys are these missiles here are gonna drop out. Doesn't matter for us if we are turning away that, that quickly here. But yeah, it's not ideal either. Okay, another missile being launched by this guy. And two of our missiles have already missed. The last one might be might be a hit. Come on. Terminal guidance there. Okay, um, you guys here need to come up this way and you need to be fast about that. Did we, did we hit? No, we did not. Okay, one more over there. One more down here. Come on. Damn it. Our missiles are so bad at hitting. Hitting, come on. Oh good, at least one there. Let's go medium altitude. You're actually launching at this guy, that's that's fantastic, that's pretty nice. I like to see that. Come on. I think the terminal guidance here has already failed. Nope, it's turning in. Lovely, do hit, do hit, come on. These guys are extremely hard to hit. SC-35s. Nice. Okay, three missiles in the air for this guy here. We are flying extremely fast. Trying to run away from these missiles. Don't think that it's going to be possible. Okay, you guys... Oh, two missiles are coming in for you still. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, um, can you actually launch pretty much all of your sight winders at this guy? Once you have a chance. No need to be... To be too frugal there. Okay, you are fast. You're sort of at the same altitude. These guys are coming in. Oh, and they do have an active radar seeker. You're now starting to, to do defensive maneuvers. Well, that's not good. There's still three missiles in the air, and we have four Raptors here. Is that going to be another slaughter of the Raptors? Seems like this missile here might be missing us. Oh, and he actually launched another missile there. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Um, but guys, I do need to come you down here to come down here. You're returning to base now. Um, that's okay, but still, could you do that sort of very fastly? This missile is not going to hit, but it's going to uh, get this guy to turn around, um, and that's nice too. Okay, are you actually running away fastly from us? Yeah, you are. Okay, that means that you guys here can sort of try to make your way off. No need to hunt him down with sidewinders. It's not going to be the best that we can do. These missiles also look likely to miss us, so that's very nice. How's the situation in Estonia? Pretty quiet, actually. So that's nice. Here are our... Tornadoes, that's good. Yeah, you can come down here and from there launch at these targets. That will be lovely. What are you? You are tankers. What are you? You are one of the falcons. You are still trying to get towards your tankers. You don't have that much range. But you will be making it, I think. 
Right, let's see what these missiles here are going to do, and then I think it's time to put in a cut, because we've done more than an hour now. Right, so this missile streaming in up over here. This missile streaming down there. Come on. AA-12. AA-12? What's an AA-12? The adder. Hmm. 60 mile range. Active radar seeker. So this is an active radar homing. They, we can't turn these guys around. It's good to see that they don't really have the range to engage us. Hmm. 